Hi fellow Vermonters, my name is Liam Madden and I am a candidate for Vermont's representative to Congress. Here are some facts about me that set me apart from other candidates. As a Marine, I risked my life for our country and as the leader of the nation's largest anti-war organization of Iraq veterans, I've also risked my life to ensure our country does what is right. Senator Patrick Leahy said to me, I wish the officials in the White House and the Pentagon had a fraction of Liam's honesty and courage. I'm the only candidate in this election who has made improving the health of our government the central focus of his candidacy. Why? Because we can't solve any problem that we care about, whether that's resource depletion and sustainability, or massive inflation and economic chaos we're seeing right now, or the rise in authoritarian worldviews and the big tech dominating the information the public has access to. Whatever that problem is for you, we can't solve it without a government that works. And let me get to the heart of the matter. The two-party system is one of the main reasons why our government isn't working. It's not representing us well, it's driving us apart, and it's controlled by elites. I am an independent, and I believe we need the values of both sides to build a healthier society. We need personal responsibility as a core value from the right. And from the left, I also fully embrace that we as individuals grow from the soil that is our communities. I am not a career politician. I believe in term limits and deep accountability. And by deep accountability, I want to be clear that my number one goal, once in office, is to create ways for the citizens to bypass politicians who don't listen to us. This is not pie in the sky or magical thinking. This is already being done in over half the states where people have the power to make laws and remove bad ones. And we need to give this power to the citizens at the federal level because the system will not be fixed until the citizens fix it. To quote Thomas Jefferson, there is no safe depository for the ultimate power of society other than the people themselves. And if we think them unenlightened enough to exercise their power with wisdom, the remedy is not to take their power from them. It is to help them be wise through education. So obviously there's more that can be done than just giving people federal lawmaking power and we also need to give them the education and the technology and the processes so that they can make sure their power is being exercised with both wisdom and love. But if we want to actually solve the problem of the energy cliff that we are headed towards in a way that has broad support from the entire population and isn't shoved down the throat of one half of the country or the other, then we need profound structural change to how we solve problems together change to our political processes and our mindsets and the technology that we use. And that is what I will help us achieve as Vermont's representative in Congress. The Democratic candidates, Becca Balin or Molly Gray, they want you to believe that they have the experience that we need right now. But theirs is the experience of putting a kind face on a broken and corrupt system. So would you want or would you trust the experience of a doctor who keeps prescribing the same ineffective medicine, no matter if her patients are never improving or even getting worse? Would you trust a doctor who is experienced prescribing band-aids for gushing wounds? I'm asking, do we want that experience? Or do we need vision and innovation? I have realistic set of sets of policy outlines that can bring democracy into the 21st century. My question for you is this. Do you think it's enough to keep changing the players in politics? Or do you know in your heart that we must change the rules of the game? I'm asking that you listen to your heart.